Hello, my name is Pete Mogson from Newspin.com, and in this course, we're going to take a look at the Google Chrome Developer Tools. Now, the Chrome Developer Tools themselves actually live inside the Google Chrome browser, and it is a fantastic toolkit that allows us to check the speed and performance of our web pages, help us debug errors, and also take a peek inside the code that sit behind web pages. Now in this course, I'm going to work on my own website, kneespin.com, and we'll use the Chrome Developer Tools to take a look inside my web pages so we can see how the pages are coded and so on. So let's get started. And the first thing we'll do is have a look at how we can bring up the Chrome Developer Tools themselves. There are a few different ways we can do this. First of all, we can right click anywhere on a web page and we'll bring up the context menu and we can choose inspect element. And when we do that, the Chrome Developer Toolbox appears at the bottom of the screen. Now there's another way, if I just close it, we can go to the Google Chrome menu, come down to Tools, and then we can go down to Developer Tools. And the third way, you'll see over here on the uh, menu bar itself, it shows us the shortcut keys, Control shift i if you're using a Windows system, and it's Command Option I if you're using a Mac. So choosing any of these will bring up the Google Chrome Developer Tools. Now when we're using the Developer Tools, quite often you'll want to make it look a little bit customized, just so that you're comfortable using the tools as you want them. And one thing I like to do is just zoom in a little bit. So I can use the Control Plus key to help me zoom in, and the control minus key to help me zoom out. So I just like it a little bit larger. Now also you can move the developer tools from the bottom of the screen. So if you come over to the right hand side, you'll see this dock icon. And if you hold your mouse button down, it then brings up this little menu. The first one, it shows that we can dock it to the right. So if I let go, it then docks the window to the right hand side of our screen. If I go back up to it, hold it down again, it goes back to the bottom. Now the third option, we hold it down, actually lets us break it out into its own separate window. So you can position it on another monitor anywhere you like. Personally, I prefer it at the bottom.